Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. So in today's video, we are going over all of my luxury designer items that I need to take into the store to be repaired or replaced. Now, there is quite a few items, actually. We have clothing, jewelry, accessories, sunglasses, even heels, like my famous Versace high heels. Unfortunately, they are a little bit damaged, and these are made out of satin, so I kind of knew it was coming. But the specific problem that I am having with these, I actually was not aware of, and I never even thought that that could happen. So that will be very interesting, so stay tuned to hear about that. But so many great items, and how am I going to fix them? Well, let's find out. My first item is my Versace Double Platform High Heels. These are so cute, but there is one small con with these. Looking at the super cute back of the heels, what I call like the butt of the heels, I think that is just so funny though. But here is where the problem is. So let's look real closely, and you can start to see it's starting to fray at the edges. Like right here, you can definitely see that because the bottom of it is rubbing against this so much, much that this does start to happen and when it comes to this you know I have no idea how to fix that eventually it kind of looks like it'll get so bad that you definitely do need to replace the strap on this but again I definitely don't know how to replace satin myself so I'll definitely have to go take these in to get repaired when it comes to the crystals on it they are all still great super shiny super reflective all hanging in there really really good they are really put on in there so there's no worry about that so far it's just the strap and now this is on both heels as well this part so this is definitely going to be happening when it rubs against this I think it's even starting to happen right here at the end I still love these I still recommend them now I know these you're not supposed to wear like every day these are my only heels so if I do wear some it's always this pair so maybe I just overwear them and again when it comes to like the scuffing at the bottom of these the black spots I don't really care about this I think it just looks like you know you definitely wear it it does kind of wrinkle right here at the back of the heel above the Medusa head as well but that's the only spot that like it does wrinkle for like the leather but still so amazing, so good. I love these. Here we have my Versace necklace. Now my Versace necklace, nothing is technically wrong with it yet. However, I do just want to get it like sprucened up a bit and just get it lightened, kind of get it less tarnished because this is just fashion jewelry, so it's not real silver. However, it does kind of turn like a little like pink, not on your skin or anything like that, just, you know, this. So everybody thinks this is like gold, but it's actually not gold. It's not rose gold. It's actually just tarnished silver but it actually does look kind of good still. Like I said, everyone thinks it's rose gold. So it is totally doable and passable. It's not bad, like the fading of it, but I do just plan to getting this touched up along with my ring as well. Now, again, nothing is wrong with this yet. However, I do just want to get a little like touched up and just a little more beautified. Now we do have a bracelet that does need to be fixed. And when it comes to this bracelet, it is really cute. It is missing one crystal though. So I do have to get the crystal replaced. You can't see that the metal head did actually come off and this is my fault I was at the grocery store and I went to go grab some milk and you know how like inside the things it's like those little like cracks well when I grabbed the milk my bracelet fell into the crack and when I picked up the milk this got stuck in it so it did kind of tear it off but I was able to find it in like the little milk machine thingy so completely a-okay all it needs is just to be screwed on again, like not screwed on, but you know, you take that like little part, you put it through here, then you tighten it together like the clasp. So that's all that needs to be fixed. So I'm not too worried about it. But again, I just have a lot of stuff from Versace to take in. So I might just do it all in one trip. Next is my Dior Solite 2 sunglasses. And these are so cute and amazing. These are actually my favorite pair. And I do love these so much. I will have a picture on screen of them so you can see like them in all of the gloriness. But as you can see right here, it did come apart. Now it's not broken. It's just a screw that needs to be replaced. But I did take them to Dior to get like a new screw for it. They said that they didn't have somebody in the actual boutique who knows how to fix the sunglasses and they don't carry like that extra little screw to put in this part in the store. They could definitely send it back and get it like screwed on. But they said that if I do want a quicker fix, I might actually just be able to take it to like a sunglass hut and the sunglass hut might be able to do it or just any like glasses store might just be able to screw it on real quick for me. That way I don't have to like wait. So Dior, yes, they can fix it. 
But for like a quicker fix, they do recommend it just taking it to like any like eye doctor and just asking if they have a quick screw to fix it in. And again, that's only because they don't have an actual like mechanic to fix it. They might at a bigger location, but at the location nearest me, it's very small, so they didn't have anybody in that field. A bag that I do need fixed is my Ted Baker London backpack. Now this isn't like luxury luxury. I think this could be considered like a contemporary brand, but I love this backpack so much. It's my favorite one and I actually want to rebuy it, but I can't find it anywhere. My brother did get this for me, so this is so sentimental, but it makes me so sad because I've used it so much. Right here, you can see that it is starting to kind of fall apart. And I give it maybe like one month of really, really using it until this part completely just like rips off and I will have to get this back on somehow. But because this is made out of nylon and I won't lie, I don't think this is like the highest grade of nylon, but it, I don't think it's going to be something that we could just like patch and fix it. It might be difficult. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's okay for now. I still use it. But I just can't like, you know, pack it way too heavy or anything. So I am concerned about the bottom of my backpack. Another bag to fix is my Michael Kors backpack. Now this was my very first luxury backpack. Like my bag that was over $500. This is my first one from like, ooh, I want to say maybe like 2012 maybe I got this back in, wow, that was so long ago. But this is Italian leather, honestly one of the best quality backpacks I've ever had. You can see just how like sun spotty and faded this is. So in order to get this completely touched up, like you can see the back is so much blacker compared to the front. And uh, look at that difference right there. For the hardware, I'm having a little hard time showing you, but right here you can see that it is pink. It's a lot more pink than it looks on camera. So it is like very, very like rusted, it looks like. It is on both sides of it. And again, it really, really does not really show on here. I mean, you can see it in the corner, but it just starts to look like reflections. That you can actually see. So that is everywhere on the bag. So just imagine that on every single piece of hardware on this bag. And that is exactly what you're getting. So when it comes to this, I have used this so much, honestly, for like over 10 years. Even the stitching at the top did not start to come undone for like after 10 years of using it. And I also used it a lot in the rain too. Maybe that's why like some of the tarnishing is so bad. But my favorite outfits ever is my Neiman Marcus cashmere tracksuit. And we do have the matching pants as well. And this one, I love it so much. The cashmere is so soft. At first, it's a little scratchy, but when you get used to cashmere, it's honestly so great. And then you totally see like why it's just so much better than everything else. But I love this one so much, but this one does have a small hole in it that I do have to get sewed. So for this one, the spot that needs to be fixed is actually right over here. Now this one I know you can hardly see, but it's right above my finger and it's just a small hole that is starting to form. Now luckily these do come with extra fabric, so I can't just take it to my tailor. So there is a tailor right next to Versace and they do all high-end clothing from the actual luxury side of the mall. So I do love to go to them. So all I have to do is just take this to the guy and then he will just fix it, no problem. It's like $30 to fix one thing, if anything. Now, my matching sweatpants, they do have a hole in it too along the red part. So again, I will take these in to get fixed, but I do have to say that these are $650 each. Now for me, I actually really did like the gray one, so I got two of them. So it's a $1,200 set completely. So these are really expensive, but they last forever. And the thing about this is this is actually water resistant as well. So water resistant cashmere, I love to wear this in the rain because even if I do get a little wet, I'm actually never wet and I never feel the water like coming through my clothes. So this is 1000% worth it and perfect. And then I do have the same set in blue as well, but the blue one, I do have to say, I do love it just as much. Now the top of it's completely fine, nothing wrong with the top. But same for the bottoms on um, some of the stripes, there's just a tiny bit of a hole in it. So I will have to get that stitched as well. Next item is my Chien Batista hoodie and I do love this one. However, this is cotton, but this does come from H&M. And I do want to go over the difference between H&M cotton 
and Versace cotton. And the reason I say this is so dramatic compared to the Versace fabric is because I dropped my joint on it for just a second and it caused this giant hole. That same joint I was smoking, I just bought this shirt. So this shirt was wrapped up in tissue paper in the shopping bag in the back seat and the hots of it flew into the back seat, went into the shopping bag. And like 10 minutes later, my friend Heaven and I, we realized something smoking in the back seat and it is my brand new shirt. Part of the hots flew out from the wind and landed in the bag and it started burning a hole in this. However, it did not burn at all. It burned through the tissue paper, but it did not burn through the shirt. So I don't know how that happened, but that is so great. So right here, absolutely no mark, no hole. So thank God for that. And I do think the quality difference right there shows it all. As you know, I have a lot of Versace clothing. This is probably one out of 12 pieces that I do own. And I do have to say that when it comes to this, yes, it is worth it because when it comes to this, this is an iron on. So even if this does fall apart, you can actually just recreate this and re-iron it on. But that is a lot of work to do. And I'm not exactly sure if the store would even technically be able to fix this one. They might be able to reprint that and put it on, but I'm not sure. So this one, I don't know if it is worth the money. I love it. So to me, it's worth the money, but I would personally never buy another plain iron on one again. I do have more, like I have a Versace sweatshirt. I will have that linked right above. And the quality of that one, it stays. It stays really great. But this one is starting to come up a little bit. So I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of forget where, but somewhere in the corner, it's starting to come up. And you can see that it's actually starting to crack too. So let me go ahead, kind of separate that. And you can see the little cracks that are starting to form. Now, when it comes to this, you know, it will destroy. And the more that it cracks, the more it definitely will like kind of peel off and ruin. So this one, you definitely do need to be careful with. I still love it, but because of this, I do wear it a lot less. And this one, I've never even really washed it. I just get it dry cleaned a couple times. So to have this cracking over just dry cleaning it a couple times, it's a little concerning, but I still like it. An item I really wanted to mention was my Kafali boxers. Now I do have a video about Versace and Kafali boxers. I will have them both linked right above and in the description below. And I wanna talk about the quality of them because the quality of these is about like 80 and $100 for one pair. And that is a lot of money, but this is really good cotton. And every single boxer that I have ever had ends up ripping right here, probably from like pulling it up and whatnot. But I have to say, when it comes to Kafali's and Versace's, I have worn them so much. They are the only ones that I wear for like the past, honestly, over three years. I have so many pairs of them. I'm simply impressed with how much it lasted. It never ended up ripping anywhere. So when it comes to any other boxers, these would be completely ruined and destroyed by now, but these are still good. So when it comes to luxury designer underwear, I honestly have to say that I do recommend it because these should be destroyed but they're actually perfectly fine. One item that is not broken or needs to be repaired definitely does need to be ironed though with like a steamer because this is silk Versace boxer shorts, but this is a size too big. So usually I'm a size three, these are size four. So there's nothing wrong with this that needs to be fixed, but I do gotta get these tailored when I do get everything else fixed. So I'll definitely have to go ahead and get it about like an inch shorter and get it like that, that much taken in and then they'll actually fit but I'm so excited to wear this. Now, as you see, the tag's still on it. I have never worn it. I've had this for maybe like three years and I've just procrastinated this entire time getting these done, but I definitely need to make this a priority. Last but not least, I do have this beautiful pink cardigan, 100% cashmere from Neiman Marcus. Now this is actually my mom's and this is one of my mom's Christmas gifts from like a year ago. Now, this does have a hole in it. They did give us extra fabric, so it's really, really easy to fix. For the hole in this one, this hole is actually pretty large, and that's because this was actually placed on a hanger. Now, my mom had no idea that you're not supposed to hang up cashmere. You're always supposed to put cashmere in the box and fold it up nicely in, like, a nice drawer, but never have it hanging up because a hanger might actually do this to your clothing. However, again, since we do have the extra fabric, this will be really easy to fix. So with everything we've seen here, I have to say that, yes, everything I did show in this video is still worth the money. Also because not only is it something that I personally love, but it's all last so long. So usually any of the problems that I have now, I wouldn't have been able to wear these still. But every piece that you see in this video, I've been using still for years, even with it starting to be damaged, I'm still using it. So they last so long and anything from like 
Kohl's, JC Penny, it's it's just not gonna last the same amount. And if it starts to break, I'm completely screwed in on my own then. They're not gonna care at all. But with luxury fashion, I can take these heels to Versace and then get them fixed. Now I can fix some stuff myself. So some stuff is very fixable and you don't have to worry about it. But when it comes to stuff like this, like the Versace heels and how like the strap is tearing right here, I have no idea how to fix this material. So being able to take this to the store and getting it back in the month and having it completely fixed, I love that fact. It's just not a service you're gonna get anywhere else from luxury fashion. The only bad thing is like, I did already talk to Versace about like getting all of my jewelry taken in just to get like re-silvered and be like super nice and shiny. And then my bracelet fixed and then like a couple of crystals replaced. And they said that, you know, it won't really be a charge at all. They just have to send it to Italy. It will take like two to three months to get back to me. So the weight is the only downside, but again, it's something that you are going to have forever. So when it comes to like all those point dexters that are like, oh, luxury fashion is so not worth it. It's so overhyped. You only buy it because you feel insecure and you want to show off. It's like, no, I'm buying the stuff that I genuinely really like and stuff that's actually good quality to where if it breaks, I can fix it. So all of the clothing that I've had, I've had for years. Like the Versace clothes you see me always wear, you've seen me wear them in so many videos, but if that was from like JCPenney, that would have been like, you know, neck hole completely like opened up by now from like being washed and dry cleaned and everything. And then the like logos would totally be gone and washed away by now. But with Versace, it's still here. And even if anything does happen, I could just fix it. So there are so many pros to luxury fashion. I will always buy luxury fashion. So would I recommend all of this still? I totally would. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what was your favorite part of this video and if you have anything that needs to be fixed as well. So again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and have a great day. Au revoir.